Oh, hi there. I'm Susie here again. And uh, in this episode of my video, I am going to talk to you about some of my philodendrons that uh, I do have here in front of me. Now, to start off with, I am going to talk to you about some pink princesses here. Now, I have got a little one, uh, and then I have got a one that is probably about six or so months old, but no older. Um, it seems to be size wise, uh, uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's a lot bigger and things like that. Now, with pink princesses, there's one thing is I personally find it uh, quite interesting because uh, the pink, as you can see on this little thing, is, um, is actually quite pink. Now, they have got rather very interesting leaf formation. Uh, sometimes they go into darker burgundy color or blackish color which makes these particular leaves rather a stand out with uh, pink uh, blotches or speckles and, and uh, deep solid color leaves in pink. The, the contrast is just fascinating and it's wonderful to watch actually the, the sort of contrast they, they give out. Now this particular one is obviously six months old and I'd just like to point out that they actually mature over a year, sometimes two and a half years before you can actually get pinks in them. So as I say, I'm a little bit fascinated by why this particular one has um, giving out pink, which is very unusual. But um, pink princesses will have to mature up to a year to two years before you can get beautiful pink foliages uh, with the contrast with deep blackish burgundy color leaves as you can see it's quite dark it's, it's really uh, it's a quite lovely uh, combination there so just trying to uh, let you know the differences and why you may ask is my pink princesses are not actually uh, giving out pink leaves this is because due to immaturity where if they are not mature enough they, they won't give out uh, pink and on the other hand you have to make sure that it does get the right conditions that these uh, pink princesses like as you know they are tropical plants they grow wild outside in nice lovely um, organic matter and uh, that's where they thrive but having them inside uh, as you know cold has a, has a factor that it may not uh, as easily may give you the pink uh, 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 leaves um, that would come out because it might be too cold. Uh, on the other hand, it might have a very dim light or the lighting isn't right. So to have a nice looking pinkish colors on them, you got to have it in a really nice bright light um, so that uh, it does uh, get that um, color um, coming out. And also uh, the temperature is also very important that it is above 15 degrees centigrade which is above 65 degrees Fahrenheit US now um, so that's one of the reasons why they you have to have them for at least good two and a half years to actually do any good and to see those beautiful pink and I'm just so lucky to actually be able to see that one there. Now, apart from those philodendrons, I do have here uh, philo um, birkin. Now, birkin is another lovely little indoor house plant that has a beautiful leaf formation, as you can see, with nice pin strip or stripes, uh, white stripes on them, which makes a beautiful contrast and. Um, you know, um, this is another one of the philos that is quite popular of recent times um, over here in Australia that we all are really mad uh, indoor plant um, collectors really. It's uh, one of the beautiful collector's items and for $20 I don't think it's really a, a bad value really and this pink princess is um, I believe it's about uh, $15. and. And usually about this size pot it could fetch you up to $80 and so to have it now quite I suppose more commonly available now or availability um, is there so the price has dropped from $80 
$50 to now up to $15. So grab it while the price is really good. And this particular size is actually quite, uh, because it's a mature plant, I think it's about um, $30 in a 17 centimeter pot. Now, another nice looking one I like to talk about is this beauty. I just love it. It's got nice silky green, silky look. And it um, when they are little plants, as you can see, it's, it's just got one solid leaf. And as they grow, you can uh, expect some split, <clears throat> split in the leaves. As you can see, the nice fenestration coming uh, in, in, in this particular leaf. And this is how they grow. It's like... Any other monstera, it's obviously a monstera family, loves climbing. Uh, you can train them on totem or you can uh, trail them. It doesn't really matter whether you, you, you trail up or down. It will still perform just as good and just as well. And, um, you know, it's another beautiful collector's items here. And uh, last year, year before, they were actually fetching quite good money in some of these plants because they were quite rare. It came under the rare collection and now they are actually readily available. So this little pot it will fetch you $20, which is not a bad price knowing that uh, you can trail them on a um, trellis, you know, train them up upwards or downwards and makes a beautiful uh, pot uh, plant in the house. And all these plants that I'm showing you do light bright light. So make sure that they do get lovely that bright light that to, you know, um, to perform. Now here we have got Minima, the Monstera Minima. And the leaves is really beautiful as you can see. And the leaves are nowhere as big as the Monstera Deliciosa. It's, um, about um, six inches to about three inches wide and um, they make a nice little petite indoor plant and you can either train them on a totem or on a stick or let it trail so it it doesn't really matter it's like any monsteras you will um, see you know the uh, little roots coming out from each um, node you know, it's very hard to see, but they're all, uh, especially this one here also, you will see a lovely, you know, the little root formation happening on each node. And that's where you can actually chop it and um, propagate uh, if you want it to propagate them. And that's another, the area roots is when they try to grab onto the trees or the branches and, and try to climb up the trees. And this is what these particular minima would do, and this particular one would do, and this particular pink princesses, because they're all um, climbers and trailing plants. And this is some of the most beautiful uh, indoor plants that you can have in your home. Now, as usual, if you watch my last video, how I have talked about uh, changing soil because most of these particular uh, plants are actually grown heavily in um, peat moss. So if you don't know how much to water, how little to water, how you know how how much water you your each plant needs, it's sometimes very hard to judge or to test when you've got lots of uh, peat moss in them. So. Um, I'm not a really a peat moss person myself, but if you are, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with uh, having your plants in peat moss because you have to water less because they do contain or sustain a lot of moisture. So be careful during winter months if you can't work it out as to why your plants are browning or dying or um, their stems are rotting or roots are rotting. It's only because due to a lot of a lot of moisture retained inside the roots or in the in the soil itself so you're more likely to have a lot of casualties during winter months so try to keep all your plants semi dry to dry side put your finger in up to two centimeters see what the soil is doing and if you get soil in your hand in light step if it's dry you know the soil is pretty good and you've got to just uh, try to um, 
stop watering too much during winter months i mean during winter you might only need to water once once a month and probably half a cup no more as you can see they're on different size pots from 10 centimeters to 13 to 15 to 17 centimeter pots so that all the pots are different and they all got um feed moss so if you want to change it you know um, look at my other video and you'll be able to see what soil mixes that i use and uh, it does help when you know yourself what you have put in, into the soil now um that's uh, all for the show i guess and uh, i will talk to you about other plants that i've got here later on so take care and have a good night bye bye